Hey guys, it's the Ballistic Kelt here. Uh, doing another water jug test. I'm doing uh, Hornady Critical Duty. And let's take a look at what we've got. So here's the box. Hornady Critical Duty. It's a uh, 135 grain flex lock, uh, nine millimeter plus P. And here is an example of an unfired case. You got that polymer tip and a pretty long overall length from what I can tell. Um, anyway, nickel case. And um, so today I was shooting at some water jugs to just test penetration. So I'm kind of curious to find out what uh, what bullets are going to work best in a 9mm pistol caliber carbine. So this one is technically a pistol since it doesn't have a stock. But uh, I've got a 11.375 inch barrel that's 11 and 3 eighths for those of you that don't like decimals. And um, anyway, I've got the i got these set in kind of a funny way because I'm going to take this handguard off and go get it threaded here pretty soon. But I still wanted to test these projectiles for you guys. So here's what happened. It, uh, I was able to find that tip. It's funny, the uh, polymer tip also kind of expanded and ripped. Uh, but here's what you really care about. Here's the bullet. So it... Um, it's got a very mild expansion. You can see right here, one of those pedals did, the lead pedal did snap off. But um, the main thing about these pistol caliber carbines is that it's driving a nine millimeter so fast that oftentimes things expand uh, too much and don't penetrate deep enough. And uh, with most handguns, I'm, I'm saying that if we can penetrate through three jugs, then that is a good measure. Uh, typically, that's what you know. All the the nice rounds in a pistol length barrel will uh, penetrate to you know all the way through three jugs. So what this one did was it penetrated through uh, the first two jugs, which ripped in half and blew out the bottom, and then penetrated through the third jug and the fourth jug, and um, it. I captured it in the fourth jug. It cracked the back of the fourth jug. And uh, so this one so far, out of everything I've tested for the longer barreled nine millimeters, has been, um, it's got sufficient penetration because most of, um, see, my, I did a HST 147 grain uh, through this 11 and 3 eighths inch barrel, and it penetrated two jugs completely, the third jug, and cracked the back of the third jug. So it it did the best so far out of everything I've tested. I've tested that HST, I've tested Hornady American Gunner XTP round, that's a 124 plus P, and I also uh, tested the Walmart Special Remington Green and White Box 115 grain. And basically all of those didn't quite escape the third jug. They all penetrated three jugs, but didn't didn't shoot all the way through. They stopped before the fourth jug. So, so far this one um, is doing the best, I guess. Uh, don't like that pedal snap, snapping off. If weight retention is a big deal to you, then maybe stick with the Hornady American Gunner, because it did not lose anything from what I could tell. But um, anyway, the expansion numbers on this here is uh, we got uh, max expansion of 0.589 caliber. We got an average expansion of 0.565. And then uh, the minimum expansion here down in between the pedals was uh, 0.459 caliber. So, you know, a real minimal expansion because, uh, you know, parts of the HST were like nearly three quarters of an inch wide. But, um, you know, you, you don't get anything for free. So with this one, you get mild expansion and good penetration. So it's, it's just up to you. Um, keep shooting. Stay safe. God bless. And Jesus loves you.